My name is Zach Coco with Minerik Drives, and in this video we're going to demonstrate how to calibrate the motor current limit and regen current limit on the DC30-1224 4Q drive. And make sure you have your multimeter handy, because we'll be using it during the calibration. For this demonstration, we have batteries powering the drive. We're using a 24 volt motor, and we have our multimeter connected in series with the motor output. This is so we can read the current that the drive is producing to the motor. Before turning on the drive, we'll make sure our current limit on the motor and regen trim pots are turned all the way full counterclockwise. Now I'm going to use my hand to stall the motor, turn on the drive, and turn the main speed potentiometer full clockwise. We'll see that the current limit light should turn on, and now we'll slowly adjust the motor current limit trim pot clockwise until we reach 120% of our rated motor current. This rated motor current is 7.7 .7 amps, so we'll try and reach 9.2 amps. Slowly turn the trim pot, like so. Now that we have the motor current limit set, we need to set the regen current limit. This limits the current the drive will use to break the motor to a complete stop. All we have to do is match the motor current limit with the regen current limit trim pot. You'll want to test the braking power of the drive, and if it's not fast enough, then slightly turn the regen current limit clockwise until you reach your desired braking speed. Be careful though, because if you turn it clockwise too much, you may damage your motor. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by Minerik Drives. If you have any other questions, please feel free to visit us at www.minerikdrives.com or call one of our application engineers at 815-624-6950.